Hey guys, today I'm here with a first impressions on the Rimmel Lasting Finish Foundation. Now I have a first impressions up on this one, but these do apparently differ a little bit. So I'm going to test this one out today. I have the color 300 Sand. I don't think it's going to match me perfectly. I've had it sitting in my cupboard for like over a year now, I think. <laughs> I bought it so long ago. So what I'm gonna do is wear it all day today. It is a little bit late in the day. It's about 10.30 at the moment, but I'll wear it until like maybe eight o'clock at night or something like that. Now this one says it has a comfort serum. It's meant to last 25 hours. Don't think I'd wanna be wearing the same foundation for that long, but anyway. Full coverage foundation enriched with the comfort serum, instant perfect coverage that feels extra comfortable and lasts all day. Sweat. Peak humidity and transfer proof for up to 25 hours. What I'm going to do is put on my cat ears. As you can see, the packaging of all of these three now match. They bought out these ones a few years ago, maybe last year or the year before. And now they've fixed up this one's packaging and the formulas change. I have a first impressions out on this one as well. The packaging, it, it aligns perfectly within their little range. And um, this one has an SPF of 20 as well. I do like that it has a pump, of course. What I'm gonna do is prime half of my face with the Hourglass Mineral Veil Primer, then see how it works. I do use a damp beauty blender to apply my foundation. I'll use my fingers first and then blend it out with this. So I'm just gonna apply a little bit on the prime side first, just spread it out with my fingers. Now, that's the wrong color, I can already tell. Hopefully I can kind of fix it up. So, it does seem to have really full coverage. Look at that, like that's just covered up that redness. Okay, they weren't kidding about that. And even like, that's amazing, that coverage. Looks a little bit better blending it out like the color wise, but I know it doesn't match me completely. That coverage is amazing. I don't know what the difference is meant to be with the white and red cap. I know I've been told like 10 times, but I always forget. It, um, the white one does have really good coverage as well. I'm not as tan today as what I usually am. I can see that it has a matte finish which is what I like because my face is just, it's oily. I have oily skin. Um, it seems to be like not too fast drying, but it's not like a wet formula, if you know what I mean. Okay, so there's one layer. As I said, impressed with the coverage. I think the coverage is outstanding. So lately I've been wearing the L'Oreal True Match quite a bit and that is like super comfortable on the skin. I don't know, it's just so thin, but it has good coverage. This is quite thick and you can feel it. it. Feels comfortable, like it says that it's meant to have, what is it, comfort serum, but it's a lot thicker. I'm going to go and apply a little bit more coverage on this side, just because I want to see like, you know, what it can do. Like that's so thick. Not thick, but like the coverage is thick. I wouldn't say that it applied better or worse with the primer, with or without the primer. That's full coverage. That there, that's full coverage. That's decent coverage. I'm worried that the second layer will go a little bit cakey because it is really full coverage. It's probably not like full, like full, full that you can get on, you know, like TV shows and things like that, but for everyday use, it's full coverage. Do you know what? It doesn't even look that cakey. I've definitely had foundations where they're a lot more cakey than this. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and finish off the rest of my face and there will be a chit chat get ready with me, link down below. And yeah, then I'm gonna come back and show you what I think of it. Okay, so I've finished my makeup. This is how it turns out. Like, I mean, doesn't definitely doesn't look as harsh as what it looked like before with just the foundation on. I think I matched it not too bad, like tried to make it match even though it doesn't match at all. <laughs> you wouldn't be able to tell. So this is how it turns out. Like, I mean, I think it looks, let me get a mirror. I think it actually looks really freaking flawless, to be honest. It hasn't settled into my fine lines at all. It hasn't gone streaky over my nose. Um, it does look a little bit patchy there 
might be my application. I don't really know. Um, I am so happy with it so far. And a lot of people have said, you need to try the red cap one. Like, it's really, really good. So anyway, I'm trying it out now. Sorry it took so long. I am going to take some pictures. No flash compared to flash. Like, I mean, I don't know if it's because it's such a dark color, but it doesn't look like it really matters. Like, it doesn't look like it really matters. I'll show you the before, like, with flash and without. Yeah, so, like, I mean, I think it looks nice with the flash. I'm pretty impressed considering it has an SPF of 20. But, again, it is a really dark color. Um, I think the lips are washing me out uh, on the camera. But, like, I look quite tanned in real life. Anyway, so what's the time now? It's 11.43. I just like took my time to do my makeup and it was a chit chat, get ready with me, that it's probably gonna be like an hour long. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna check back in with you in a couple of hours. I've got a couple more videos to film and yeah, I'll let you know how it goes. Hey guys, I'm back and it's about 4.30 and here's an update on my foundation. It looks freaking amazing. Like, it looks better, like way better in person than it does on the camera. Like it just looks so, so nice. I can't, I just can't get over it. Hasn't gone oily at all. Like maybe it's just a tiny little smidge, like just in the crease of my nose there. Like I haven't left the house or done anything today. I'm really, really impressed. There's nothing more to say at this point in time. I like, so many people recommended this foundation to me and it took me like a year to try it because I had it just sitting in my cupboard, but very, very impressed. Color match isn't too bad in the end. Like it's a little bit darker than what I should be. But yeah, so far, so good. Yeah, that's the four o'clock update. I'll probably check back in. I'll see like if I can notice as soon as it turns oily and tell you what time it is. Um, but if not, I'll just check back in later. Okay, bye. Hey guys, I'm back and it's about nine o'clock. I am aware that the lighting situation is not ideal and I'm gonna have to figure out something for these first impression videos, but it is what it is. I just wanna say it looks amazing. I know you can't tell in the camera, like I look quite dewy in the camera, um, but honestly, it has lasted so well. Have some lipstick down there from where I was eating. But honestly, it just looks like I have glowy skin. It doesn't even look oily. You can definitely, like you can tell in there, which is, as I say, like where I go first. It settled into my fine lines in my forehead a little bit and a little bit in my laugh line there. Probably not the best foundation if you do have significant laugh lines. The full coverage has lasted. It doesn't feel like I'm wearing too much makeup. Like, I mean, I am wearing lashes and everything like that. I don't know, it feels comfortable on the skin. I don't know about the 25 hour thing. Like, I mean, I'm ready to take it off. So maybe not now, like some nights I get on after these first impressions and I'm like, I'm ready to take my makeup off. Like I could still wear this for a few more hours if need be. Wearing this for half the day, it's done really well. I think that this foundation, considering it's SPF, would be okay to wear to work and things like that. It's the whole same thing with the range. Because of the SPF in the foundation, it kind of limits its wear to work or weekend activities where you're not going to be out at night or having your photo taken, that kind of thing. Um, but I do believe that the longevity is good. Oh yeah, the primer. I feel like the side with the primer has held up a little tiny bit better and it's not like you would even notice it. Surely from like the camera, you can't really tell, but I can just see it in like the pores. They look a little bit more better on the prime side rather than the non-prime side. This is just a close up of the foundation. So you can see, I'd like you to see kind of how, well, I think it's lasted so well, like obviously. I would definitely recommend trying this foundation out if you're after something full coverage, long lasting. I think it's okay for oily skin. Like, I mean, this is the result after 11 hours. So yeah, that is the first impressions on the Rimmel Lasting Finish 25 hour with Comfort Serum foundation. I hope you guys enjoyed this first impressions. Let me know what you think of this foundation if you have tried it. I will leave a playlist linked down below of all of my first impressions, which you can go check out. And if there's any foundation that you'd like me to try, let me know as well. I hope you have a great day and I will see you next time. Bye. Oh, I had so many ideas that I wanted to film. I know I've got a makeup haul to film. I've got to do that brush comparison video. Oh, and I've got empties to film as well. 
I think that'll be enough videos today.